Dry bar comedy, man. I remember my first clean show. This is, I, I, I remember it like it was yesterday. I was, a, I was a nightclub comic, and I was out touring with a headliner. But I don't want to say their name because, you know, I, I think it's really, uh, I don't know, it's kind of unlovely to kind of drop names about people that I've worked with that you're never going to meet. <laughs> And so I'm out on this tour, you know, and, and this, this newspaper reporter came and, you know, did a, did a story on him and then did a little thing on me. And somehow I had mentioned that I had started going to church. And so they released this newspaper article and it talked all about this other comic and right at the bottom it said, opening for this comedian, Christian comedian, Steve Geyer. <laughs> what? I wasn't a Christian comedian. I had just recently started going to church. There's a difference. <laughs> and so somebody saw that and called my agent and booked me to do a senior adult Valentine's Day banquet for a Southern Baptist church. <laughs> You're laughing because you weren't there. <laughs> Nobody told me I had to change my material. And I'm just firing it away, you know, and there's people in the back going, crucify him, we want Barabbas. <laughs> right? Do we have any churchgoers in here? Anybody go to church? Some? Yeah, go, oh, go. Oh, my people, there you go. You know, this is what I learned. People say, well, what was the difference between doing nightclubs and going to church? Nothing. <laughs> Both a bunch of liars. <laughs> Because in nightclubs, you meet people and they're always scamming you, you know, you know, married guys pretending like they're single and all that kind of stuff. But man, I have never had so many people lie to me until I started going to church, you know? And it's in the lobby, you know? Because in the morning, you know, people, hey, how are you doing? Great. You liar. <laughs> man, why are you going to, if everything was going great, you wouldn't go to church. <laughs> Things are going, you're going to church because you need some help, right? How's it? Great. Oh, I'm just under the spout where the glory's coming out. <laughs> I'm going to punch you in the neck. <laughs> right? Hey, have you, ever, have you ever lied at church? Somebody, you, like you had a really crummy morning and people, hey, you doing great, you know? How, how many of you, come on, be honest. How many of you ever had a fight with your spouse on the way to church? Come on, let me see. Come on. Isn't that fun? You know, you're ready to go and you're, you, you can see the church parking lot in the distance. You're almost there and then poof, it happens, right? And you're yelling at each other, no, you shall, no, you shall. Yeah. And then we hit the church parking lot and we're like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> if we could only hear what was going on in your car, I'm going to kill you. No, really, I am. <laughs> First, I'm going to shoot you. <laughs> and then I'm going to push you off a roof. That's what I'm going to do. And you walk in, how's it going? Great. And you know, you feel compelled because, you know, <laughs> these people are handing out bulletins, you know, they're, they're not counselors, you know, and so, you know, but you know, wouldn't you just love one time when somebody says, how you doing? You go, do you really want to know? <laughs> They'd be like, um, is there a volunteer coordinator that I can talk to? I wasn't uh, trained for this, right? You know, but wouldn't it be great if just one time you just said, do you really want to know? And the person said, yeah, man. Come on, man, be real with me. You, you look a little disheveled. What's going on? Well, if you want to know the truth, on the way to church, I got into a fight with my wife. And we started yelling and screaming at each other in front of the kids. I can't believe what came out of my mouth, man. And she's still sitting in the church parking lot, crying her makeup off in the car. Could you go pray with her? I have to go preach. <laughs>